Hi there. January went out with a bang. We had Storm Malik and Storm Corey over the weekend bringing us gusts up to 85 and 92 miles an hour respectively. So quite a windy end to January, but for many places it was indeed a quite settled and dry month. So I thought we'd start this week's farming forecast by taking a look at the radar estimated rainfall accumulations. And we can see from this map just how much rain fell and where. And we can see with the purple and the grey colours here, the highest rainfall totals fell across northwestern areas, so parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, but indeed over the high ground of northwestern England and parts of Wales as well, where you can see those purple colours. Generally, the further south and east, we got the less amount of rainfall we saw. And indeed, it was quite a settled month for many places. Although we did see rain at times, we often had high pressure located to the south, ridging up, creating some quite settled conditions for many places. So often high pressure dominating led to a much drier than average month for January as a whole. You can see that by the extent of these brown colours across the map. So for many places, a very dry month. Really the only exceptions being the very far northwest of Scotland, maybe some parts of Northern Ireland here where you can see those blue colours, but really quite a dry month for many areas. And also quite a sunny month with high pressure around for much of the time. We recorded our third sunniest January on record, but will February follow in its footsteps? Let's take a look at the forecast. Starting with Wednesday, we have high pressure located to the southwest. That's generally bringing us a settled feel to the weather on Wednesday. And you can see a much fewer number of isobars across the chart as well. So less windy than it has been on previous days, indeed the end of January and the start of the month. So less breezy, a bit more of a settled day on the cards, but we can see a bit of rain here. This is a warm front that we'll have across parts of Scotland and maybe parts of sort of northern, central and eastern parts of England at first. That will clear eastwards as we go through the day on Wednesday, although rain will persist in Scotland at times. For many places, once that rain has cleared, it will be a dry and bright day with variable cloud and sunny spells, but perhaps just the odd spot of rain from any thicker cloud over high ground in the west. Now taking a look into Thursday, you can see high pressure sort of gradually drifting its way out to the south. Um, a bit fewer, a bit more, <laughs> a few more isobars on the chart. You can see it will start to feel a bit breezier as we go through the day on Thursday. And you can see a bit of rain across northwestern areas at first. And as we go through the day, we will start to see this cold front approaching from the northwest. So pushing some spells of rain across. Some of these could be quite heavy at times, so some quite heavy bursts possible, as well as some gusty winds. And that will be followed by a bit of cooler air and as well as some showers as well. You can see here, most likely in the northwest, a few of these turning wintry at times not quite to the extent that is shown on this chart there'll be sort of fewer and further between but some showers possible later in the day on Thursday in the northwest now this chart is showing the end of the day on Thursday where that cold front is located so actually much of England and Wales will end up staying dry through daylight hours with plenty of sunny spells around too just that freshening breeze there also as I said it will be getting cooler so although we've got this sort of fairly mild air mass over us at first on Thursday. As that cold front spreads in from the northwest, we will start to see these blue colours making their way onto the chart through Thursday and into Friday. So beginning to feel cooler for many places, cooler, breezier, and indeed quite blustery with some showers as well. But taking a look at the forecast into Friday, you can see that cold front across southeastern areas at first. That will generally clear as we go through the day, leaving that bright, breezy and cool day with a few showers, most likely in the northwest, perhaps spreading into southern areas as the day progresses and a few of those could be wintry in places the wintry ones mainly confined to the northwest but maybe the odd one further south um, as the day progresses and feeling breezy too uh, through thursday Friday even. Now as we go into Saturday, high pressure will be centred to the south. That's generally returning us to the slightly more settled day. You can see a few fewer isobars along the chart there. So generally for many places it will be a dry day, slightly more settled day. We could see a weak warm front moving across the UK at times, so perhaps bringing us some thicker cloud, the odd spot of rain here and there, but generally many places staying on the drier side of things for Saturday. And we can see this front spreading into northwestern areas by the end of the day, so by Saturday evening. But also it will return to a slightly milder feel through the day on Saturday as well. So 
although we can see these uh, blue colours across the chart at first, these green colours moving their way onto the map, so indicating things will turn slightly milder as the day progresses on Saturday. Now, taking a look further ahead towards the end of the weekend, for, so for Sunday, there's a little bit of uncertainty in the forecast as it stands at the moment. So I mentioned a cold front spreading into northwestern areas by the end of the day on Saturday. And now on Sunday, it will continue to spread southeastwards, but couple of different ideas as to how far southeast that will move uh, depending on which model you look at so taking this one for example rain generally confined to parts of Ireland and Scotland maybe the far northwest of England and Wales but by the time it moves into these areas generally weakening so most of the rain in the northwest while southeastern areas stay on the drier side of things however looking at this model's idea of how things play out we see the front moving much further southeastwards and although it's generally quite patchy and fairly light in nature the rain it will just move that further bit southeastwards in this scenario and perhaps a bit breezier as well so definitely keep an eye on the forecast for Sunday and if you do need an update you know where to come the best people to speak to are our forecasters we're available every day from 6 a.m till 5 30 p.m we're a lovely bunch so you do feel free to give us a call on 09065 777675 of course costing £1.55 a minute plus network access charges now, taking a look further ahead into the early part of next week, on Monday, after that front has cleared on Sunday, on Monday, we'll see a ridge of high pressure bringing a generally sort of more settled day, one of those more settled interludes of the week. But by the end of the day, we will start to see a cold front spreading into northwestern areas. I'm sounding a bit like a broken record here, but that's the general story with a front starting to spread into the northwest into Tuesday it will move its way southeastwards but again a bit of uncertainty as to how far southeast it will move and it will be followed by these more showery conditions in the northwest and this does look a little bit scary looking at the chart here looks like we're in for some widespread snow this is overdoing it slightly it will generally be more of a showery type of things but yes that front spreading southeastwards bringing us that more cooler showery weather a brief spell of cooler air as well as a few wintry showers possible early next week. And this is the general vibe really for the week ahead. We will see ridges of high pressure, but we'll see frontal systems pushing through. So a bit of a change on the cards, a bit of a changeable week for next week, but high pressure never too far away from the south. And looking at the week as a whole, it's not surprising we've got this bright, the very red colour here indicating much higher than average pressure. So although we will still see front spreading in from the northwest at times, it will generally be quite a settled week for many places. And you can see with the, the uh, rainfall anomaly, the expected rainfall anomaly here, with a lot of these brown colours here, many places will be drier than average, particularly across southern and eastern areas of Britain, while the main focus of the fronts in the northwest generally brings sort of closer to normal if not slightly wetter than normal conditions in the northwest and with generally sort of a westerly flow for the week quite a mild flow coming in from the Atlantic we will tend to see temperatures above average for the week as a whole we could still see some cooler air coming in from the northwest at times particularly following any fronts pushing through but for the most part it will be above average in temperatures for week two now, taking a look at our chance of a dry day chart, just to gauge what we're expecting for the next few weeks as a whole, you can see obviously at the beginning of the period, quite changeable, generally sort of much sort of a, a very low or a low chance of a dry day in the north and west here, where we've got a lot of these green colours, a bit of a more of a mixed bag as we go further south with those green and those brown and those white colours all mixed up together. Now, as we go into the following week, and indeed the next few weeks, you can see there's a bit of a northwest southeast split developing. You can see a lot of these brown colours confined to the south and east, while in the northwest we have these green colours indicating a low chance of a dry day and some rain spreading in. So, a bit of a northwest southeast split developing with any rain generally confined to the northwest, occasionally pushing its way further south. Now, taking a look at the air mass temperature as well for the week ahead, we can see we start off the week with these above average temperatures. It's been quite a mild start to the month. But as we go through Thursday and Friday and that cold front makes its way southeastwards, we will see a drop in these temperatures, a drop below average, average for the time of year being that dotted line here. So we will see it drop below average. But then as we go into Saturday, as we mentioned, that milder air returning gradually and we'll be come back above that dotted line. 
But as we look further forward, the red line, which shows the average of the ensemble members, is generally above the dotted line, so indicating that temperatures will be slightly above average for the coming week or so. But there is a lot of spread in these ensemble members, and you can see a lot of difference. And even in the red line, it does go up and down quite a bit, so indicating there will be some change throughout the week, some brief pulses of colder air coming in from the north or northwest, but generally above average. So taking a look further ahead into week three, little change in the overall pattern. We've got these red colours indicating higher than average pressure. So that's really spread quite a lot across much of the continent, a very settled week expected. We can still obviously see fronts spreading into northwestern areas where there will be rain at times, but generally still in that quite settled pattern. Although for us, it may feel fairly changeable. And looking at temperatures as well, not much change there either. Still in those light pink colours there for us, indicating that temperatures will be slightly above average. And as I said, and I will continue to say it time and time again, there will still be some colder pulses of air in there, but the overall trend for the week is above average temperatures. And into week four, there's really not much difference there. We've still got that red area there showing higher than average pressure. So we're still expecting high pressure to be centered somewhere close to the south. Still, you know the potential for those fronts spreading into the northwest, but generally on the settled side of things with those above average temperatures persisting as we go into week four of our monthly forecast and the last week of February. So to summarise then, a quieter day on Wednesday than we have seen of late with slightly lighter winds than we've seen and many places staying dry, although we will see some rain across Scotland and across eastern areas at first. Then towards Thursday and Friday, we'll see that cold front making its way southeastwards. There could be some heavy rain along that front, perhaps some gusty winds, and that will introduce a cooler air mass as well and perhaps some breezier conditions and a few wintry showers possible in the northwest. Over the weekend, there is the potential for further fronts to spread into northwestern areas. Still a bit of uncertainty as to how far southeast they'll make it. So do keep an eye on the forecast over the weekend and into next week, remaining changeable side of things with fronts moving through, but ridges of high pressure from the south as well. So a bit of a changeable feel, but generally staying milder than average as well. Thanks for watching this week's WeatherQuest Farming Forecast. If you've enjoyed it, please get in touch with us on social media.